Hi friends, uh, my name is Natras. In this video, I am going to talk about how to arrange spring framework ready in your system. How to keep your spring framework ready in your system. You know that spring framework is a fr uh, spring framework is given by Interface 21 company uh, as a Java application framework to develop different varieties of what Java and JWW applications in framework style. When I say framework style, it says do not write common logic, just write what? Application specific logics so that productivity of application development will be increased. So, let us try to understand basics first. Spring. So, what is the type? It is Java application framework. Version. 5.x is there, but beta version is there as of now, as on today I am talking and 4.x is there, yes, and this 4.x is compatible with uh, version 5.x beta, 4.x is compatible with JDK 1.8. That means, we can use JDK 1.8 features in uh, uh, Spring 4.x version like uh, default methods in interfaces and uh, lambda expressions and repeated annotations, such features can be happily enjoyed while working with the Spring 4.x programming. Creator, Mr. Rod Johnson and Vendor, I will show his photograph in a minute, Vendor Interface 21 and open source, that means when you install Spring Framework, when you uh, install Spring Framework in your system, not only you will get uh, not only it is a free and you will get its a source code. That means, you can see lot of .java file that are used to create a spring framework creation. And uh, next one, to download software, okay, you use spring.io website, website and download it as zip file simply as one zip file. What about installation? A extracting that zip file is nothing but what? So, simply extracting that zip file simply nothing but what? Keeping spring framework ready in our system. Indirectly is nothing but installing spring framework in our system. Do not expect any setup file kind of thing to install spring framework. One uh, zip is there, you extract it, you will get your spring framework in your system. Working with the spring framework is all about collecting jar and adding jars to class paths and build paths and using spring API in various parts of our application code. That is it. So, do not think about there will be a setup file and uh, there should be a finish button, next button kind of thing to install spring framework. Fine, um, but there is a small controversy, let me address to it. Let me address it. Lots of people thinks that uh, software installation means they expect there should be a set of file kind of thing, that is wrong. Zip file extraction also comes under software installation uh, because for example, you take spring, it comes in the form of zip file, extracting zip file is nothing but installation, hibernate, struts, all this comes in the form of what? A zip file, extracting those zip file definitely comes under what? Spring, uh, that is software installation. Uh, some people say uh, frameworks are not going to be installed, it is all about extracting jars and uh, collect, uh, extracting zip file, collecting jar and using zip files, uh, using what? Jar file and they think that, uh, so there is no installation for framework. So, listen carefully, what I am trying to say here is, we can get software in the form of zip file and extracting zip file can be called as what? Installation of software. What is the proof, sir? We get Eclipse in the form of what? Zip. And we, by extracting Zip, we keep our Eclipse ready in our system. We get Tomcat in the form of Zip or RAR file. By extracting RAR file, we will keep our what? Tomcat server ready in our system. We get JBoss, Wildfly and Glassfish servers in the form of Zips. They are also softwares, application server software. By extracting them into our computer, we keep what? Application server softwares ready. That is why do not think that sir, software means 
you should come in the form of set of file and in uh, clicking on set of file only called as what installation certain situation software comes in the form of binary mode nothing but in the form of zip and rar file so by extracting rar files also we can say software is installed best example is spring hibernate struts another best example is come on eclipse tomcat and uh, jboss J glassfish kind of servers they come in the form of zip file by extracting the zip file we say that those softwares are installed in our computer those softwares are seriously installed in our computer because uh, because there is a small controversy because frameworks cannot be installed because they do not have setup file only zip files are there. I am saying zip file extraction also comes under what software installation fine. But I said uh, I can show the photograph of Mr. Rod Johnson. But let me clear one thing not only Mr. Rod Johnson there are top 8 people of Java let me show their photograph because we should wow everything we should wow everything to him everything to them because of those people only we are able to use java effectively as part of project development that we are able to use java freely and we can see the source code because all these eight people top eight people of java created and released their softwares as what open source softwares so if we i manage it in my own place so, do not worry from where I am collecting it. So, these are top 8 people of Java. So, these are the 8 people. So, I think uh, I can show as a preview. Yeah, he is Mr. Uh, Craig McHelen, the creator of what Struts framework. He is Mr. Mark Flure, the creator of JBoss. He is Mr. Kent Beck the creator of the most popular agile methodology and jnit tool he is mr gavin king the creator of hibernate he is mr david duncanson the creator of tomcat server and ant tool and uh, there is no need of introduce uh, introducing this person separately the god of java the father of java the everything of java so the mr so if someone else declares like that i i i simply laugh at them right okay mr rod johnson the creator of spring framework our hero of the day fine um, and mr joshua blatch indian breed Joshua Blatch, Indian breed, the creator of Java collection framework. Everyone appreciate Java for its collection framework. And he is the person who created what? Collection framework in Java. So, these are the top 8 people boss. These are the top 8 people that are there in Java. And I talk about these people because I want to show the photograph of what? Mr. Rod Johnson. So, now let me show how to arrange Spring software. So, I already downloaded one zip file, uh, I down, already downloaded one zip file to my iDrive, yes, to my iDrive, this is the zip file I downloaded. From which website I have to download? Spring.io, just go to that website, go for internal search or you can search through Google search engine also. So, you will get a zip file to download, I think uh, 4.3 is also there, fine, you can download the zip file. And once you download the zip file, you extract the zip file and after extraction you will get this folder and now I call it as spring home. This folder, whatever I am highlighting here, this folder is called spring home. Where Java is installed, where JDK is installed is called Java home. Where Oracle is installed is called Oracle home. Where uh, spring is installed is called spring home. Here, Hibernate is installed is called what? Hibernate home. Okay, that is really nice. So, we, it gives mainly three important folders and some other uh, uh, documents. One is related to license, one is related to a notice kind of thing, another one is readme, but we just ignore these documents. I need to mainly focus on these documents. So, if you look at docs folder, there are two subfolders. One is Java doc API, another one is what? Spring framework reference. 
okay java doc api is having one file called index.html this gives spring api documentation what is this spring api documentation how we got java api documentation yes we have a uh, spring api documentation and we can use we can get it by getting into what this docs folder and uh, in the docs folder we can also see one more thing spring framework reference and there is one pdf file okay so this is a reference document of spring and here almost everything is there if any other writes a book and he uses this uh, reference document as base document while writing the book he uses that reference document as what base document while writing the book so then we got something called if you come to home folder we got something called libs that means libraries here we will see lot of jars in java jars represents libraries because they contain set of apis so spring is loosely coupled spring is lightweight because among the modules of spring dependency is not saying not there less spring is lightweight you can develop spring project either working with one module two module or three module or your choice modules so all these statements are correct because of the way they have supplied jar files they have not given single jar file covering all the modules they have given multiple mod jar files for each module that means if in, if you don't want to use all the concepts of one module there is no need of arranging entire module jar file in your project because within module they have given some sub jars so if you are using certain concepts of core module use those jars related to that uh, core module if you are using uh, one two modules use only those jars related to what one two modules so there is no need of uh, using all the jars this makes spring as loosely coupled this makes spring as what lightweight so for every jar three flavors they have given so this is a jar containing dot class file that means byte code this is the jar containing java api documentation that means api documentation this is the jar that contains a dot java files what file source code so for every jar that's one so many jars they have given and every jar is given having three flavors so this contains byte code dot class file this contains api documentation this contains what source code so let's see what is the other folder we got we got one more folder called schema uh, because in spring programming we develop xml files as a bean configuration files spring bean configuration files they have given dot xsd files see this for every module separate dot xsd file they have given having different versions in this dot xsd files set of rules and guidelines will be there to construct the xml document set of rules and guidelines will be there to construct what xml documents so while developing xml documents separately for each module you can gather those rules and guidelines from this xsd file and you can use them in the construction of xml documents sir what happens if they don't give these rules what happens xml tags are user defined every programmer writes his own tags in xml document due to this spring framework fails to understand meaning of those tags and purpose of those tags at the end errors will come so to avoid this problem what spring people have done you know okay they only created rules and guidelines for constructing xml document that are required in application development in the form of dot xsd file xsd means xml schema definition that's why all these xsd files are there in a schema folder and they supply to programmers along with uh, software extraction okay along with software extraction so that while creating these xml document for spring application all people use the same tag same rules and guidelines based on what this xsd file based on this what xsd files due to this what happens if for spring framework it becomes quite easy to understand purpose of each tag and what attribute 
to understand purpose of each tag and part attribute. Moreover, all programmers will be forced to use same tags and same attribute while configuring various things in the XML file. So, that is the reason not only Spring, every framework gives DTD documents or XSD document okay, to construct the XML documents that are required in what? Application development that are seriously required in what? Application development. So, this is about schema folder. This is about schema folder. I will tell one small example to tell the importance of this XSD documents towards constructing XML document. For example, university asked all their students to submit the semester exam application forms, but they have not supplied application form. They asked student to take white paper to write the forms and submit to the university. If this provision is given to student, every student follow his own pattern. Some students may forget important information like roll number, college name and some students may not give correct information, may not give required information and all this at the end all these people submitted uh, like uh, customized pattern based application form to university. And it becomes quite horrible for university employees, it becomes quite horrible for what university employees to scrutinize them, to validate them and to issue the hall tickets. Why? Because no format is there, no pattern is there, everyone written up content in their own style. So, it becomes quite horrible for university employees to validate and to issue what hall tickets. For example, roll number should be there. One student writes in first page, one page student writes in next page, one student writes in the middle of the page, one student forgets to write. So, in this process, the employees of university will get very difficulties to validate them, to go through them, to issue the hall tickets. To overcome this problem, what they have done? University people will prepare one application form format. And based on that format, they print application forms and they will submit the forms to students. Since all students are having forms and in that forms certain pattern is mentioned, certain content, required content is specified, optional content is specified. So, every student gives necessary information in a proper pattern, in proper order. So, that is why when all these application forms are submitted to university, for university employees it becomes quite easy to validate, to uh, go through the forms and to issue the hall tickets. If you observe very carefully here, okay, so the application form format is like what? XSD. Application form format is like what? DTD. Because that gives clarity to the student what should be given, what should not be given, in what way it should be given, how it should be given. So, based on that, all students follow the same pattern, same format while giving what? Details of student are exam details to university, so that university people happily validate and issues what? Documents. So, what role is there for application form format? Same role is there for XSD rules and guidelines as part of what? XML documents creation. So, generally I can say one thing, though XML tags are user defined, no doubt in that, but when you are developing XML document for certain technology application or certain framework application, no doubt, no doubt we will follow what? Set of rules and guidelines given by what? XSD or what? DTD. XSD or what? DTD. So, these are the various things that comes when you go for what? Spring framework installation. So, if I summarize this discussion, Spring framework is given by whom? Mr. Rod Johnson, okay, as an open source framework. So, it can be downloaded from Springer.io. It comes in the form of ZIP. Extracting ZIP is nothing but installing Spring framework and mainly you will get three folders in Spring framework installation. Number one, docs, okay, which contains APA documentation and uh, PDF file, libs, jars representing spring libraries, schema, XSD files will be there which are building blocks providing rules and guidelines for constructing what? XML files that are required in spring application development. 
So, earlier version it used to provide DTDs, but DTDs are outdated, DT means document type definition. So, XSDs are latest, that is why recent versions are providing what? XSD based rules and guidelines as building blocks to construct XML document that are required in what? Spring application development. So, this is about installing Spring framework in our computer. Thank you, have a nice day. Thank you.